Ni hao my fine friends, this is Onipixel here. And yeah, as you can already see, we got a profile open from a Chinese collector. And this person actually did a lot of crafting the past few hours. And we are not talking about crafts that cost him around, I don't know, 10,000 USD. We are talking about two crafts that cost him 60,000 USD. So yeah, the person you are looking at right now spent 60,000 US dollars on two weapons. So he applied eight stickers on two weapons in the past 24 hours. Absolutely crazy. His inventory in total, um, he just has 12 skins or basically like 12 items. And all of these 12 items make up his whole inventory. And just these 12 items that he has are worth around 100,000 USD, a little bit over, a little bit less. Really depends on the market. But yeah, right now at this point, um, it is right at the 100,000 USD mark. So yeah, I would say we will get right into it. Of course, this person is a Katowice 2014 collector, as you might have already imagined. And yeah, I mean, we are going straight into it. As you can see, his first skin, um, he just crafted the skin a few hours ago. A minute right after he crafted it, I posted it on my Twitter. So make sure to um, follow me on there. But yeah, in this video, I will show you some in-game footage of the skins that he crafted and also, yeah, the other stuff that he has. I mean, there's really not much to show, but the stuff that we have to show is just completely crazy. So yeah, first one crafted around one hour ago, he crafted this M4A4 Emperor with four Titan holders. And guys, I mean, this thing, this is not a one of one craft anymore. Um, another Chinese already crafted one of these which is completely crazy if you think about it. The Titan supply is basically near zero right now. I just bought a Titan Holo and an IBP Holo recently, as you might have seen in my investment video, which I will link on the top right if you didn't see it yet. And for my Titan Holo, I got offered a few days ago 7,000 USD. So, so yeah, if you would want to buy four of these Titan Holos right now, it would cost you, yeah, much more than 7K each because the buyer that offered me 7,000 for mine couldn't find any. So this craft, considering that the Titan Holo, maybe you could find four with much, much luck at uh, 7,500 USD each. So yeah, taking that into consideration, this craft cost him, I would say, let's value each Titan Holo at 7,500 USD. It's probably even more if you'd want to find four of these. Um, but yeah, valued at that, this would come to a total of 30,000 USD just for one gun. Completely crazy. And of course he chose a decent float. Um, he crafted it on a 002. This is the number three lowest float M4 Emperor, which is okay. I personally would have gone for the number one float because um, the number one lowest float Stetric M4 A4 Emperor just got dropped um, a few days ago because the new number one has five zeros. So, <laughs> so yeah, before this new number one, uh, the old number one had a 001 float and this one has, yeah, five zeros and then a nine, which is just, yeah, completely crazy. But yeah, still in game, this craft looks really, really nice in my opinion. I said it before, um, I already did a video on it because someone else actually crafted it, like I said. And yeah, that's this M4A4, 30,000 USD craft, completely crazy. And yeah, then next, he also has a few um, unapplied Kato stickers which we will probably, yeah, even most likely also apply in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And the Team LLC Holo skyrocketed the past few weeks to a crazy amount. I mean, every Kato sticker is going up right now, but the Team LLC Holo just doubled in price. It basically went up from like 1,600 USD to 3,000 USD plus in like the past two weeks or three weeks or something. Then he also has three Vox Holos. And yeah, these Vox Holos, if an LDLC Holo is at 3000 USD right now, a Vox Holo is even higher than that. So probably, I don't know, 3400 USD around that level. So yeah, three Vox Holos, three LDLC Holos and a Nip Holo. That's basically another 20,000 USD that he has. And yeah, I mean, this inventory is just all about quality. He has a lot of junk skins, but we won't look at these. We'll only look at the 12 most expensive skins that are worth 100,000 USD. So, the next thing, the AK Empress, you already see it, a 001 float. And yeah, less than 24 hours ago, he actually applied four IBP holders onto that. And yeah, what can I say? 
This is actually one of one craft, so not like the M4A for Emperor, which is now um, yeah existing twice. This one is a one of one, and it's just completely mind blowing. The last Forex IBP Holocraft that we saw was basically ages ago, and can't even remember what the last one was. I think the last one, the one that pops to my head right now, would be the Glock Fate, but on that one. Um, the person just applied three Iber Power Holos, so I don't know when the last 4x Iber Power Holo craft happened, but it must have been like, yeah, at least half a year ago. But yeah, let me know in the comments if I missed something, because there have been so many crafts recently, I can't even keep up with them. And yeah, this one in game, absolutely crazy in my opinion. I love the AK Empress, I said it before, and I don't mind any 4x Kato 14 Holo combo on it. I know there might be some artwork warriors out there who are saying, oh, but it's an artwork skin, I don't know, oh, the queen, the queen. To be honest, I don't give a fuck about the queen, it looks really fucking nice. So yeah, this guy having the balls to go straight against the artwork warriors, um, destroying the king's face and also the queen's face, completely crazy, what a rebel. So yeah, next, his USP is stainless, um, it just has one LDLC holo on it. He probably will buy a better one um, in the near future. So yeah, his Desert Eagle, same thing, just one Vox Holo on it. Either he will slap his uh, three Vox Holos on it, or he will go for a different one, I'm 100% sure. I think that we can see a lot from this guy because he seems to be going for like the number one most expensive loadout basically. At least it looks like that looking at his last two crafts. But yeah, this Desert Eagle Blaze is actually worth quite a bit. But yeah, next is Glock Fate, which is just ah, really fucking beautiful in my opinion. This Glock Fate has four reason holders on it, and on paper it's already crazy, but in game it's just mind blowing. And I must say that for me, after having tried many, many Kato skins, um, yeah, for me the reason holo just takes the cake as the number one. Best sticker in the game, in my opinion. And this sticker's price also skyrocketed the past few days. Around two weeks ago, one of these stickers sold for 3,600 USD. And just a few days ago, the Reason Holo sold for 5,000 USD. So yeah, the Reason Holo being one of the most rare stickers right now. This sticker is even harder to get than an IBP Holo. So yeah, now there's not really much left. But as you might have already guessed it, he also has a really, really nice um, knife glove combo. And I also managed to get in-game footage of the exact stuff that he has. Exact same float, exact same pattern. And yeah, first quick look at the gloves. 0.08 specialist gloves, crimson kimono. And we will take a look at the pattern in just a second. And he combined these gloves with a M9 bayonet crimson web, minimal wear, 0.072 float. So it's a really low float. And it also has a super nice pattern. Now we will see the combo in game. And yeah, as you can see, the gloves are max red, the M9 has two nutty webs, and yeah, these gloves alone. Oof. But yeah, that's pretty much it from this collector's inventory. Absolutely crazy person, 60,000 USD applied in less than 24 hours. I think we have never ever seen that before, so I'll call it a video. Make sure to leave a like, highly appreciate it, and also don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.